it was a great opportunity to write the book because I, I got to look back on like 20 years of comedy of uh, you know when I first started out it was very it, it was very experimental and like hey I'd love to try improv I'd love to try uh, you know sketch comedy I'd love to try stand up and just see what happens and while I was trying that it was also I was trying it in an environment where whether you were first starting out or you were there for five years or a 10 year veteran the idea was you were going to try stuff you were going to see what works and what doesn't work and uh it was an incredibly you know freeing and liberating experience uh you know to be there i think ultimately it came down to like the um you know the the simplest uh aspect which was making people laugh and i feel like the discussion of comedy especially over say like the past five to seven years it's been so intellectualized and it's been so politicized as well uh and people have sort of forgotten that there's something about going you know turning on you know picking up your phone watching a video cracking up or going to a club and having a few beers and 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 cracking up there's something that's just so elemental and so important about that that i really wish that i really want us to get to get back to that um because i think that you know even before like you know the whole idea of like comedian speaking truth to power and all that it's like no no hold on are you laughing yeah are you able to yeah. laugh and the big thing is like you know when i see when i see some of these critics you know and um you know these woke critics i'm like have you ever laughed in your life is there any joy in your life like the idea that that you uh confront every single thing from a political stance you know um i remember uh Oh, what was her, and that, her name's Lily, I believe. Um, God, I'm so, my, my apologies for not remembering her name, but uh, she's uh, running for, uh, she's running for office. Uh, she's from China. Lily or, Tang Williams. Yes, yep. yes. Um, she's fantastic. She did a, um, have you have you had her on? Yeah, yes, just recently. Yeah, d definitely check out, um, you know, interviews with her. the story she tells is so incredible. Uh, but one of the things that, that, that she talks about is how, you know, in Maoist China, everything about your being needs to be about uh you know these tenets of yeah. communism every single thing no matter what you do if you're singing a song the way you dress and all that it's completely devoid of individualism right and i've seen that you know in the way that people respond to comedy especially on the you know the woke side of mm -hmm. it where it's how can you make that joke um because that is you know politically incorrect you know, how can you hold these views? How can you, um, you know, how can you uh, have a platform where you allow these views, you know, to go out? It's like, hold on a second. Wow, you're really trying to tear down the individual here. Yeah. And just, you know, recreate man in, in your uh, your politicized image. Yeah, it's 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 torture to watch Stephen Colbert anymore. Yeah. I'm, I'm old enough to remember when he was funny. He was and, hilarious. And it's been a long time, too. Yeah. And it's 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 because everything I, I I don't know if he's sort of uh, bowing to the mob or if he is one of those secret people behind closed doors that are dictating what the woke mob does. I don't know, but it's not comedy. It's something else. It's it's indoctrination or something. Yeah, the times that I've tuned in, or it's mostly com comes through clips. I'm just like, well, I don't understand. I yeah. don't know what what I don't know what's going on here.